Hello everyone, I am Jeff. Hi, and I'm Jesse, and we are D Up. Yep. This week, Sega Fest happened in Japan. I believe it's a two-day event. Okay. I want to tell you it is an annual thing, but uh. from my research, the last one that happened was in November 2016. Oh, okay. So I've every other I think year? it's just I Biannual? think it's just like whenever whenever they got a bunch of news that they want to pack together, they're just like hey, let's do a yeah let's, let's do a, a con and <laughs> see what happens, right? <laughs> so a few things were announced. Okay. I picked out a few things that I think the North American audience would probably be more excited about. Okay. There are other things announced, but the first one everybody probably heard this already to commemorate the console's thirtieth anniversary. The mm. Mega Drive Mini was announced by Sega. Mega uh, okay. Drive, known as the Sega Genesis in North America. Yeah. I don't know why we're so why special. Why they changed the name? I don't know why we're yeah. so special. The console will be released in Japan first sometime this year. I guess we'll find out what's in it. Yeah, there's no no games were announced. Okay. But they were pretty they were so sure that Sonic the Hedgehog 3 will not be included because of the music licensing issues. The whole story about how Michael Jackson might have worked on it and stuff like that. Oh, um, that's right. a lot of controversy there. I, I don't think they want to dive into that. Right, and I heard he did like, like some of the sound clips, like little tones and stuff you'll hear in the game. Yeah, and then and then they fought over yeah. some stuff, and yeah, huh. <laughs> someone did a research on that and just put some of the clips of that song like side by side with them, some of his songs, and oh, okay. they sound almost identical. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna. We're yeah. not gonna dive into that. That's a whole for, other story. Yeah, a whole other story. We'll leave that to the to the experts. A week before the announcement of this console, mm. the COO of the company said that Sega planned to return to the console business. Okay. The last one was was 2001, I believe, the Dreamcast. Mm. Mm. And then a week later, this happened. So everyone's just thinking maybe they're just talking about this yeah. mini. Uh, sorry, Mega Drive Mini. Do you know any Sega games that you would love to play on this thing? Did you have a Genesis? Do you no. know anyone who had a Genesis? Yeah, I knew people who had a Genesis. Yeah. Um, games, I guess I would like to see Vector Man. I like both of those because they're a kind of super Metroid-ish <laughs> type of game yeah. where you'd go around and you know, get a new ability and then you can go back and do this. And yeah. yeah, between Vector Man and Contra, kind of mix. Oh. Speaking of Contra, there was this Contra game that was exclusively for the Genesis. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I always wanted to play that one. It was a weird era, man. Every yeah. every console almost yeah, had, had their own yes, version of their own the version. same game. So Street that doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> yeah. Glad it doesn't happen anymore. But yeah. also also sucks because yeah. in a way, it's that's what's special about the console. Right. right. You got that version of right. this You game. have a Street Fighter like, 2 in the Sega Genesis version. That's like a, two different Aladdins. Like the one yeah. on Genesis and one on Super Nintendo were like completely different games. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the notable games on the Genesis, of course. Yeah. So Sonic and Hedgehog 3, which uh -huh. they said will not be on the console. Yeah. Streets of Rage 2, Ooh. Gunstar Heroes, The Revenge of Shinobi, Shinobi 3, Shining uh, Force, Shinobi. which is a big RPG series on Sega consoles. Of course, Fantasy Star. Columns, which is a puzzle game. Kind of like yes. their Tetris in a way. I love that game. Golden <laughs> X. Golden and X. Altered, Altered Beasts. Mwah. I don't like Altered Beasts. I'll right, go on record about that one. What's wrong? It was overhyped. <laughs> if, if you actually played that game, it is not good. <laughs> I mean, at the time, yeah. the graphics were crazy because the sprites were really big and everyone... Mm. Usually play Nintendo games where the, the sprites were like pretty small yeah, yeah. and and you couldn't really tell the detail. But I remember at that time on Genesis, it's like, whoa, these characters are so big. It looks so good. And the actual gameplay it was not that good. And I, <laughs> I stand by that. Okay. It's not a good game. <laughs> if we pick up this console, will you be willing to stream that? <laughs> stream playing, <laughs> ugh, me complaining, playing Alter Beast. That'd be awesome. That'd be great stream. <laughs> so. Jam jam. Yeah, yeah. Move forward. Yeah. That's all I keep doing. Repeat. Yeah. Elephant in the room. Uh -huh. Are they biting Nintendo too much? I mean, <laughs> no. They have their own properties. I mean, I know how some people want to see like a PlayStation Mini, possibly oh, yeah, an Xbox Mini. You know, if you have a license of classic games for your console, yeah, why not? 
yeah, they never had the corner of the market. And I've seen like those maybe not official brand ones. Oh, but yes. Yeah. They kind of plug directly in your TV with a <laughs> with like 250 games. Yeah. yeah. They already thing. have those. Yeah, they already have those. So who's biting who then? <laughs> Nintendo's biting the, those guys? Like <laughs> Something that I believe you might be interested in mm-hmm. is that Valkyria Chronicles 4 is announced for the Switch. The game's released in PS4 uh, already back yes. in March 2018. The Switch version was originally planned for summer of 2018. Now it's delayed to fall 2018. They said that the game wouldn't run at all at first. Oh. But the programmers worked hard at it and yeah. they made it to a playable state on Switch. But there are a lot of bugs. So uh-huh. They have to fix up okay. all that stuff. Okay. I'm a big fan of stuff like that. Yeah. As in, just coming right out and just say... Oh, transparency? Yeah. Just say that. Just say you couldn't get it to work. Yeah. Instead of, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're, we're focusing on other things right now, uh, other properties. No, that's... Right. Don't give me that BS. <laughs> the run around. Yeah, if yeah. you can't quite get it to work, that's fine. It's programming. Everyone understands. Yeah. We, we just want a, you know, a yeah. working product. Yeah. Yeah when, you, yeah. when you delay the game and you don't say why, yeah. that means people get in their heads, you know? Like, well... Yeah, what's doing it for this, for that, yeah. what? Are yeah. they fighting? Like, yeah. what's, what's happening? Like, where, am I ever going to see it? What, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> People just go crazy now. They, now they're going to tweet tweet you every day and just asking you what, what's happening with this. Yeah. Like, why can't you just tell me what's happening? That Stuff being like, said, I was interested in a Switch version, but if it's going to be not running as well as the PS4 version, now I'm like, uh. <laughs> but that's what the way it comes on right? yeah 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 uh, yeah i guess i'll have to wait to see the finished yes. product when it's, it's released this is the f- another thing that was announced this week mm-hmm. valkyria chronicles will actually be on switch the first yes. one the remastered version will be on nice. switch this summer i'm kind of bummed because uh, i bought that remastered version on ps4 day one oh okay <laughs> This yep. one is only this one's only going to be uh, 1,900 yen, which is going to be about 20 US dollars. Also, if you buy Valkyria Chronicles 4, yes, you get a digital voucher for 500 yen off of this one. Oh, okay. So it's going to be five dollars off of the Valkyria yeah. Chronicles remastered on the Switch. I'm bummed because I uh. like that game. Mm-hmm. I still haven't gotten around to finishing it. Oh, okay, I finished. It. Yeah. I like that. Speaking game. of which, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk I have a story because I bought the original on PS3 yeah when it was brand new and did not play it for the entire time I had it on the console <laughs> until I got the remastered and then I finally played it why because I was waiting for trophies <laughs> there was okay. always this rumor that they're gonna have a trophy patch for that game okay never happened oh when it released they didn't have it yeah they didn't have trophies available but uh, okay in the past because like they were actually put uh trophies in for metal gear so i heard that they're going to do the same thing for valkyra chronicles so never played it so we just left it yeah just left it <laughs> until i bought it again <laughs> and then finally played it i like yeah. i'm gonna play this right away <laughs> and I jesse just- we jesse we gotta talk <laughs> for another day <laughs> an intervention <scale. laughs> okay <laughs> lastly i'm excited for it i don't think you are mm-hmm they announced Shenmue 1 and 2 coming to PS4, Xbox One, PC. Yes. The choice of modern and classic control schemes, which is... Okay. My goodness, thank you. Mm, thank okay. you for stuff like that. Updated user interface and the option to switch between English and Japanese voiceovers. But back to what I was saying. Yes. Thank you for updating interface and control schemes. Yeah. Those yeah, things just, just don't work. When, when people just do a straight port uh, and just change models kind of like chrono trigger it just doesn't work yeah Yeah, because that's that was my issue with the shemu games it's like they're dated in that sense at the time yes very revolutionary like that whole open world quick time events Mm -hmm. all of that together but i felt like if you're bringing it back it's going to be like goldeneye you can't go back you really can't like you know <laughs> some people still play gold yeah i guess so but it's not as good as you remember it that's why i felt with uh, shamu one and two but with this new control scheme yeah that might change a few things huh? yeah fair enough yeah so you willing to give it a shot this time around yeah yeah because you weren't a fan <laughs> right you said you played it yes I, because after again i i played it yeah way okay. after the fact and maybe okay. that's some of the reason why yeah. i had 
wipes the body. This is after you played God of War. <laughs> yeah, and other games like Grand Theft Auto yeah. and like oh yeah, games that have, they've have learned from this game and have mm-hmm. done better. Right. But yeah, yeah, like I said, it's hard to go back. This is a perfect <laughs> announcement for someone who bought, say, Shenmue Three, like me. <laughs> okay. I kicked like I kickstarted kick the project <laughs> when they announced it in 2015. The mm-hmm. game is slated for 2018. We haven't seen much about it. I am worried. Because the trailers haven't been great. Yes. In terms of what I've seen from them, it doesn't look very polished. It doesn't look finished. But the game is supposedly releasing this year. Mm. So E3 maybe, hopefully. Yeah. So <laughs> like please show me something. Give me please something to be hand. excited about it. Otherwise I might have to trade it in the moment I get it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click like and drop a comment below. Hit subscribe and the bell next to it to stay up to date with our content. Our full podcast is on iTunes and Anchor. The link is in the description below. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at D underscore up underscore gaming. This is Jeff signing off from D up gaming. We'll see you next time.